power, power. Yeah, I got that power. What up, it's your boy, Nick Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And this is my review of Project Power. Oh my gosh. Let's get into it. I gotta be completely honest. Before I actually um, sat down to do my review, I ended up watching a, a lot of other YouTubers review on the movie, and they pretty much all agree along the same lines that, you know, um, it was hit or miss throughout the whole movie itself. Uh, the characters were a little all over the place and the storylines kind of meshed. But I actually thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I, I mean, I may be the only one. I mean, I know a lot of other people enjoyed it, but like overall, like I actually really enjoyed it. And before I even talk about the movie itself, we have to talk about the visuals. Now, the movie itself, I I kind of want to say I'm different, but I kind of agree with everybody else. The movie itself kind of hit or misses, but the visuals were so on point. The visuals made you fall in love with the movie, even when like the story is kind of going off on the rails and you kind of lost in translation a little bit. The visuals is what really held you on to the movie. That and our three MCs. We, um, with Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon Lovett, and um, Dominique Fishback, we get we get some great acting out of these three particular characters, and um, you know not to rain on anybody else's parade, um, our MCs are the ones that the story focuses on. But we get some great acting from these three in particular characters. So with the movie being a hit or miss, it kind of falls. But with these three characters and the visuals of the story and the premise, you know, with the Project Power Pill. That's what held you on to the movie and it made you kind of just stick around and watch it all the way through and end up actually really enjoying it. Now, granted, this would never hit theaters. If it did, it would definitely have to be rewritten. Re I can't talk today. Rewritten. Um, because like so many, so many, so many things in the story itself is happening and it kind of, you kind of get lost in translation. We see the story officially starting off, um, with a bunch of drug dealers end up getting the pills. And then we go, we dive and we jump straight into um, Jimmy Fox's story. Then we dive into Dominique Fishback's story. Then we have Joseph Gordon Lovett's story. So it, it's, it's all over the place with the st story wise, but the story is all over the place at times. And then like at the very beginning, it draws you in and it gets you and it's going at a nice pace. But then like right after that, not too long after that, it jumps and you have these three different storylines that you have to focus on and, they, and then eventually they all mesh together. But while that's taking place and happening, we're getting this, 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 and it's distracting the audience. But you got, I, what I'm saying is the visuals and these actors held it all in place. Even with the story and the script going all over and left and right field, the actors and the um, visuals held it together. Um, we start we start the movie off and we see um, the drug dealers end up getting the pills to distribute. And then we jump straight in to seeing um, Dominique Fishback and Joseph Gordon Lovett characters right off the bat. And we see that their story and their dynamic is going on. And then right after that, we dive right into Jamie Foxx's story. And then that's what we start to focus on pretty much. And then we jump right back to Dominique Fishback. Then we jump into Go Joseph Gordon Lovett's story. So you see what I'm saying? Like we, ne we never really focused on anything that much before we jumped to anything else. And then they kept giving me these flashes throughout the movie um, about Jamie Foxx. It didn't really focus on anything long enough to really gain your attention with these characters. Now, granted, the characters themselves performed and performed wonderfully, but the story just fell flat. I love the premise and the concept. And throughout the story, we see that um, the trailer gave us a lot of inkling to everything that's going on. But once you actually watch the movie, you'll also know and learn some more stuff about these powers. And the fun thing about these powers is that, um, yeah, you get that one power and that's it. And it only lasts for five minutes. But it's also a nice thing to... I don't want to spoil it for anybody that's going to watch it. Um... It's your typical superhero movie overall. Um, but what I what I will say is that I like is that these movies that Netflix are dropping out, that's superhero movies, are like a darker superhero movie, I guess you could say. And um, 
a little bit more grounded and it's not straight from your comic book characters that you know and recognize and love that you've read all over these years like batman superman wonder woman um thor iron man like i know i'm mixing universes these characters are more grounded into real life and i'm not knocking all of the other movies from marvel or dc i love them both but what i'm saying these characters seem a little bit more realistic and um it's not your typical superhero movie granted a lot of stuff that transpired throughout the movie is your typical superhero stuff but like even like the big reveal and everything at the end at, at the end of the um movie itself because i got to say um throughout the very beginning and midway through it fell a little flat but the acting was was wonderful the action scenes were fantastic and it still held you i'm just saying like it fell a little flat and um there was a lot of dialogue going in and everything but i wasn't i wasn't bored with the dialogue the dialogue was actually very interesting and you see a lot of stuff transpire between Jamie Foxx and Dominique Fishback when they have their dialogue, when it's just them on screen. So you see a lot of stuff going down and I wasn't bored. It's just that it fell a little flat. Um, Now at the end, it picks up drastically at the end, but it wasn't like boom, boom, boom. It was like, oh shoot. Okay. I see it. Like, you know, like it didn't, like it didn't really surprise you, but it, it hmm, you, you kind of gave it a nod. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Um, then there's also like a moral of the story in um, throughout the movie as well. We have Jamie Foxx trying to not really mentor, but kind of give some life advice to Dominique Fishback throughout the movie as well. And at the end, she kind of realizes it herself um, after he, you know, after he uh, told her about life and stuff. Um, so and then the movie ends and I don't see a sequel coming. But if they were to decide to make it a TV show and touch on the whole uh, Project Power aspect, I would definitely check it out because it'd be very, very intriguing, man. Um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I could talk about it so much more, but I don't want to spoil anything and then tell you guys a whole bunch of stuff and then you don't check it out for yourself. I'd rather you watch it and tell me what you got from the movie because we're all di very different people. And if we watch, if everybody watches the same movie, we're all going to get something different from the movie. But that's my review of Project Power and pretty much it ended up being a pretty much discussion throughout the halfway through of my video. Comment down below and let me know what did you think about Project Power. I actually really enjoyed it and I would watch it again. Um, I'm not going to say I turn around and watch it again, but like maybe and maybe like two months time, I would come back and definitely watch it again. But comment down below and let me know what you guys think about um, the movie itself. And there's something that you got from the movie that I didn't get. This is your buddy Incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. Peace out. I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at half speed I